no, Tyler was. Well, don't you think she was too? So you're saying it was like a dream? No, that would be super disappointing. What I'm saying is that she may have been his female alter ego or something like that. <laughs> Some of the shit you come out with, Lethe. <laughs> come on, it makes sense. I do really like the philosophy behind it all, though. What? You know, all that stuff about keeping our mortality in mind. Uh, what was it? Morento Mori. <laughs> of course you'd like that. I just find it kind of cool. How his life is given meaning after he gets a second chance. You know, with the car crash, with the fight club. Really deep stuff, Lethe. New phone? Uh, late birthday presents from Dad. So his new job's going well, then? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he got fired again last week. God knows how he managed to pay for this. It's really amazing what they're packing into the phones these days. Just think, like, a few years ago, they were, like, ten times the size of that. Makes you wonder what they'll be like in the future. I reckon they'll be like highly intelligent, sci fi sort of shit. Like Blade Runner or something. That would be terrifying. It'd be fucking amazing. Oui? Papa? Ça va? Oui. Je viens. Sorry, I've got to head home. What is it? <sighs> I don't think I'll be able to make it to Luca's party tonight. What? Why? I've got to look after Dad. <sighs> Plus, I really need to catch up with this course. That is such bullshit. You always get the best marks in biology. <laughs> That's not true. What about Smith's class? Smith was an asshole. He just hated you. <sighs> all right. I'll try and come. Someone has to stop you from doing all the stupid stuff. <laughs> For me. That's so nice, Leafy. How considerate. I just really need to work out this next chapter, honestly. It's killing me. We're turning 20. Let's have some fun, for fuck's sake. All right. I said I'll come. But Dad needs me. Oh. Honestly, he just needs to find another woman that can do all this stuff for him. No, well, that woman has nothing else to do. What? Like, your dad needs to learn how to cook for himself, not find another woman to do it for him. You would not be saying that if you knew how many times he almost burnt down the kitchen trying to cook pasta. Well, that's not the point, though, is it? It's not your job or anyone else's. All right, we're not getting into this again. <sighs> I'm just saying it would be nice if it wasn't just me having to do this stuff all the time. Do you want a shoulder to cry on? Oh, <laughs> All right. Love you loads and I'll see you tonight, yeah? All right, love you Bye too, Hey. Where have you been? You're late. I'm meant to be making my food and I'm hungry, so anything will do. Oh. Hey! Hey!
nothing, Miss Happy. I'm positive. Lethe, are you? times behind you. Rejoice to what beauty your future holds, love you. Wonder. Jesus Christ, you look like shit. Sounds like you had a pretty wild party last night after I came upstairs though. Just make sure you invite me next time, yeah? I guess I'll, I'll, I'll clear it all up when I'm back tonight. Oh shit, you banged your head. You okay? Oh, I... It's, hold on. I'm sorry about last night. You're right, I, I never got to thank you. I thought it would be really hard to swallow, but it's not. I don't give a shit how much that is. I understand it must have been hard for you to talk about, so I'm, I won't bring it up again, I promise. Where am I? Did, did you get any sleep at all? Come downstairs, you need to rest. I'm gonna pick the car up from the garage and then I'll meet with Ben. I'll see you later, Mum. Mum?
You have one missed call from Wanda. Would you like me to call her back? Who are you? As I understand it, Wanda is a close friend of yours. No! Who are you? You named me Samantha. What? Where are you? I'm one of the voices in your head. What? Sorry, you told me I should try to tell more jokes. This is serious. I need to know where you are. I'd say I'm about three metres in front of you. What? Are you okay, Miss McCurr? No! I need to know where you are. I'm on the coffee table, where I've always been. What? In the small metallic box on the coffee table. Of course. So you're a talking box. Close enough, I would say. This really isn't the right moment for sarcasm. I'm your virtual assistant, Miss McCurt. What? I've always answered your questions, made you recommendations and performed actions for you. That's not possible. You're lying! By delegating requests to a set of internet services, I have an answer to everything indeed. What's happening to me? I'm sorry, I don't really understand what you're asking of me. This, this isn't my house! This isn't my body! I'm so confused! Miss McCurt, your heart is racing. You should sit. I'm in a stranger's house. Without my dad. In someone else's body. And I've just been called mum. Okay. I can tell you it's currently eight in the morning and you've just woken up from a ten hour sleep. This has always been your house since the day of my purchase. I've never met your father. And Lee is your son. You are his mother. What do I do? I mean, is... How do I answer it? Press the green button. Where the hell have you been again, Leafy? Your boss has been on my back the whole night asking me where you've been. He's threatening to fire you next time you don't show up. I know the night shift is hard, Leafy, but come on. Wake up, for fuck's sake. Are you there? Wonder, is that you? No, it's the Pope. Who the fuck else would it be? That's not your voice. Of course it is. What's the matter with you? What's going on, Lee? This just isn't me. And this, this isn't you. It's not real. Oh, God. Have you relapsed again? I don't know what to do. And I, I don't know where I am. And I don't know what's happened to my face. Your face? What happened to your face? It's just different. It's okay, just calm down. Where's Dad? What? Your dad? Yes, my bloody dad! Leafy, calm down. He's not here. What the hell is happening, Wanda? Leafy. There was a photo on the, um, the coffee table. He was holding a baby. Leafy. Am I going crazy? Oh, God. It's like I know this place, but I've never been here before. Calm down, Lacey. Everything's all right. What's the last thing you remember? Coming back from the cinema and uh, I was with you. I just saw you. <laughs> what cinema? We haven't been to the cinema in years. Is that really you, Wanda? Okay, you're scaring me now, honey. I think whatever you took last night was quite heavy and it's done something to your head. Please try rest until tonight. And, uh, and I'm older. I'm supposed to be 15. You just turned 40, honey. Oh, stop messing with my head! Just stop it! Okay, don't try and remember things now. It'll come to you. Just rest. Wanda. Sweetie. I'm back next week. We've talked about this. My plane lands on the 31st. The only thing I can do right now is call you. But it's going to be fine. Don't take any more of that garbage, okay? But please, 
make sure you go to work tonight or that bitch really will fire you. I... I'll call you later. Love you. Are you okay, Miss McCurt? Seriously, Samantha. I'm supposed to feel better in this fucked up situation. With this body, I feel completely trapped. I don't know. Samantha, what year is this? for lying here all day. You know the neighbours nearly called the police. What's wrong with you? I think this is the future. 
My future. <laughs> when Wanda called, didn't say it was this bad one. Right, Mum, you need to stop taking that shit. Seriously, your 19 year old son shouldn't be the one telling you that. Jesus Christ, why? It's no one listening. Mum, to... calm down. Why do you keep calling me that? Because you're my mother. I'm not your mother. Of course you're not. Go on, let's go inside. Wait, what's your name? I'm not going to answer that. Please. I'm Lee McCurt. You're Lethe McCurt, and by that logic, it follows that you are my mother. Okay. Just. So you're Lee. Lee. I've got a problem. I shouldn't be here. Yes, my name is, is Lethe. I'm not your Lethe. Okay. Wait, wait what, what, what's the problem? I'm not your mother. Look. I'm not your mother. Hey, calm down. I can't be your mum. It's just not possible. How old are you? Lee, I'm, I'm 19. You look young, Mum, but 19's a bit of an exaggeration. This morning was the first time I've met you in my life. Yeah? So what, these last 19 years I've been, I've been living with your clone? You've been a pretty shit parent, Mum. But don't sell yourself too shot. You've been here at least. Fuck, I can't believe I'm still listening to this. I thought you'd calm down after what we pulled last night. Please leave. Listen up. I was scared. You're scared? How do you think I feel when you get like this, Mum? Come inside. I'll, I'll cook dinner. Wanda says I need to get you to work or they'll fire you and we're going to be late at this rate. So, you really don't know me? No. I want to go bowling. What? And in four years, you've never taken me anywhere when I've asked. And now's your chance. But I've never learned how to play. No, no, trust me. You used to make everyone else look like shit when we went together. I think... I think I might like that. All right, then. I mean. A complete fuck up. Drugs, alcohol, everything. You were sober for a little while, but we all knew that wouldn't last. And then it really came back when I got into high school. That's all I could do. Best not. You said I never took him No, there. really. Best not. What about your father? He's not around. So you, you really don't remember anything at all? What do you mean? About my father. I mean. Anyway, your memory will come back. It's happened before. You know, I first thought this was the future. 
Oh well, what a privilege it is to be speaking to a time traveller. Please, please. Then I thought this was some other reality, like a parallel universe or something. Oh yeah, of course. Lee, come on, this is serious. Now I think that it's some kind of amnesia. Maybe worse than that. You used to forget things, but this, I mean. Eve is going to fucking kill you. <laughs> you know, if it was up to me, you'd be already out months ago. She said it was your last chance. So get to fucking work. You're already behind. I... Do, I haven't... What? You suck cock and you don't understand as well? Go! I don't want to hear a fucking peep out of you. Except yes, no, do you want your receipt? Understand? That's a good girl. Long, just wanted to tell you, I've talked to one of my friends. He's a doctor. He's going to do what he can to find out what's happened to your head. No, 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 no. Now, he's free on a leash. No, Rhonda. No, I, I just want to deal with it myself. It's, it's better if I figure it out myself. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I guess this isn't a great time for you. I'm really happy to hear you're back at work. All this stuff is just the blip, okay? Mean no, okay. Sweetie, you know I've always been there for you and me, but this case is really important to me. Please be careful, your boss. But you told me he did the other day worry me. If he does anything, you call me right away. Okay? Yeah, I will. Okay. Call you later. Love you. I love you too. Perhaps it's best you don't find out about everything else that's happened in the last 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Live in blissful ignorance for a bit. Mm. Now watch this. Oh, oh, I remember. 
Oh, you've got a problem. Let's talk to the I'm sorry, man. You guys make a. Yeah, you should be sorry about your fucking parenting. What you say that back, you stupid cow. Um, madam, have a nice day, and I'm sorry, okay? She can't say shit like that to us. Well, she disrespected us. It's just words, mate. It's... She's just not worth it, all right? You used to stand up to that sort of thing. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Smash the watermelon. I remember your face. I know you. Lee, what was I like? Upstairs. Did you finally send off your CV? Yes, ma'am. Lee, put that down, please. Lee, put it down. Okay, Jesus Christ. The second. Do you ever think why that might be, Mum? Maybe if I had some fucking guidance, I'd stand a chance of getting a job. Or maybe I wouldn't be this way if I knew who my father was. No, don't bring him into it. 
It's been 19 years, but I'm cutting the bullshit. What did you just say? The damage is done. The least you can do is tell me the truth. Maybe if you let me meet him, oh, I wouldn't be the way that I am. You're just blaming me. Shame as you say. You blame me. You should be fucking ashamed. You never took care of me. I always looked after you and you never fucking noticed. Of course you did. I looked after my dad. I did everything for him. And you, you abandoned me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just like your father did when he fucking raped me. Yeah, you didn't know about that, did you? I never did this to your father. I never even knew him! Oh, go on then! Run off, why don't you? And while your grandfather was fucking dying in front of me, I was being fucking raped by your father! of our parents, right? It was just hard sometimes. I'm sorry, Lee. It just felt like the natural order of things, you know? I can't believe that she did that to you. But I could. I, I wasn't suffering. Do you know why parents put on their own oxygen masks before they help their children? It's because you need to have your own shit sorted before you can even begin to take care of someone else. And you needed my help. You shouldn't have had to do that. Anyway, you're not her. I know that now. It's more complicated than that. Do you think that I'm handsome? What? Is that how you change things? Do you think I'm handsome? Answer the question. There are so many reasons I'm not going to answer that. I think you'd have made a move if you weren't, you know. <laughs> I can't believe you're asking me that. 
I'm just curious if my mum would be attracted to me. Oh. If I wasn't her son, you know? Jesus Christ, Lee, your Freud's wet tree. My first day of being a mum. How'd I do? Not bad. Pretty much blew the standards my last one set out of the water. <laughs> What do you mean by it's more complicated? We're as much the same person as we aren't. I become her. But you don't have to. You know that now. I don't think choice is as much a factor in this as you seem to think. Why not? You know what happened, happened to you. You know, to you now. Could you go back to whenever you came from, maybe you could stop it. It's as you said, things happen a certain way. They need to. Our sufferings are inherited. They didn't come from nowhere. So, so you're resigned to this. Would you go back if you could? I don't know, Lee. I don't even know if that's an option. <laughs> things weren't perfect for you either. Your dad was as bad as my mum, from what you've said. That's unfair. Things with him were different. What about your mum? Don't you want her back? I'll put your dinner in the microwave. Bonjour, Madame Mackert. Oh. Comment allez-vous? Ah, je me suis acheté une nouvelle tenue, qu'en pensez-vous? C'est rose. Vous avez beaucoup la fleur? Je le prendrai comme d'habitude, s'il vous plaît. Um, I'm sorry. I'm... Oh. C'est celle-là, exactement, c'est ça. <rire> Merci beaucoup. Take you to get a fucking bottle of wine. Are you two years old? I didn't know what she wanted. So you didn't know what she usually wants, but you knew her. That's your story? I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. You know, fuck. I told Robert, you know, that guy who works there. I told him that, you know, you look like a former pedophile. Go fuck yourself. Oh! 
Oh, the child porn watcher is back. How are you? So this is the reason for this sudden amount of confidence. I, I heard you relapse again. I didn't. Right. Is there a problem you have? I... You shut up. Right now. You shut up and you make up for all the hours that you missed. You lazy piece of shit. Kate, please. I... You look like a human experiment gone wrong. Why would I ever want to work with you again? Seems you've forgotten who your boss is, right? Kate, it's not safe for you. <laughs> it's not safe for you. That's right, it's not safe here, Miss Fuckhead. Please, stop. 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 Ah. 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 stop. Ah.
I was hoping I'd get to meet you at some point. I wanted to tell you. To explain. Life with Dad was hard. But you have no idea how hard it got. I've had enough. I didn't want to live. And then you arrived. I don't give a shit. I don't care how you justified how you treated your son. You did to him exactly what Dad did to us, and you knew that full well. It wasn't like that. The trauma faded. It wasn't what happened that made things so hard. It was what we were left with. What we were left with? It was... It was so tiring, Leafy. That's not an excuse, Leafy. It was so painful. You're a coward. You saddled Lee with our inheritance and then you gave up on life. Leafy, I just... You're as bad as Dad.
You have four missed calls from Wanda. Thanks, Samantha. I'm afraid it's something you're just going to have to get used to. Holy <laughs> shit. My revenge. Come on. 